Hey, this is Richard Light and Gadget, and uh, we just get, came across a startup company called Ice. And uh, as you can see, this is uh, another tablet, but uh, here you can actually insert a module on the back. So it's, it's essentially a brainless device, but uh, the concept is a bit like the uh, Asus Pad Phone, where um, so in one way you can insert a smartphone into the tablet. Not necessarily just an iPhone, by the way. It's just uh, just ha just so happens that they have a dummy here. But uh, oops. but as you can see, you can uh, put it here in the back, and uh, the phone becomes a tablet. Or you can also uh, get hold of a PC module and put it in, and voila! Now you have a, a PC tablet. So uh, the idea is that you uh, you have one fewer device uh, to own. Uh, it's environmentally friendly, as they say, and uh, oh, can't get it out now, but anyway. <laughs> but uh, um, we've actually uh, managed to get hold of uh, Jerison Wu, who, is, uh, who, who works at, who represents ICE. So, uh, so Jerison, um, can you tell us a bit more about uh, how your company came up with this idea and uh, can you talk about uh, why, why you think the modular PC is uh, going to work. This, uh, uh, this product uh, begins on, on our CEO, Mr. Chen, in, in the US Silicon Valley. He worked on there for a long time. So he think about this kind of concept. So you just need to change the module of the PC port, and uh, you don't have to replace the entire device. And uh, for the same device, this is a mobile monitor. So why don't we use the phone as a core? You know, the smartphone is so powerful recently and uh, very popular. So the same device, if we want to environmental state friendly, why don't we just support both of them? So if, if we come on this concept, and we are trying to push it into market. So uh, it's interesting that you still uh, think a, a modular PC is going to work rather than just applying this uh, onto smartphones. Is there a reason for that? Is it because you think that the price, the lower price is still appealing? Or um, do you think eventually um, everyone would just go for the smartphone option uh, when they upgrade? Mm -hmm. It, it just depends on consumers. And mm -hmm. Consumers, they can choose what they like. Okay. Because uh, there's a lot of choice, like uh, smartphones today. Yeah. And uh, maybe some, some like I, I owned, uh, HTC smartphones, Google, Google's phones. So and people want a big monitor when they use it. So it so they, they comes out the pad. Pad series. So why don't we just use the? We can save the redundant cost of the yes. hardware, and uh, we can save the consumers can save the uh, extra money free from carrier. Yeah. And you, you you were saying like so, it's not necessarily an iPhone because obviously Apple might not uh, yeah. approve that. But will uh, will your company consider making your own smartphones, or will you first be reaching out to the other phone makers and see if uh, they want to work with you. How do you uh, what's your approach? Our, our company is um, trying to uh, work with uh, any potential smartphone company that can just support the different smartphones. Mm -hmm. Even one phone from one company is a lot. Any, any potential names? Um, <laughs> sorry, uh, confidential information yeah. on the list. Hmm. Now that today's technology is in Okay, okay, that's fair enough. Um, so, and when would we expect uh, the first final product? Mm, maybe first quarter of um, next year. Next year, yeah. Okay, uh, that's, that's very fast. And would that be the PC version or the smartphone version? We're trying to make both of them. Both at the same time? Yeah. For Q1? Okay, yeah. that's very interesting. Um, yeah, so uh, very interesting product, and uh, thank you very much, Jerison, for your time. And uh, best of luck. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you.